students i am romita sudam pgt chemistry today i am going to discuss about your first chapter of class 10 chemistry chemical reactions and equations today in this session i will discuss what is chemical reaction and how to write a chemical equation first of all what is a chemical reaction very simple chemical reaction is a process in which two or more substances or some substances changes to form new substances so by definition you can write this definition chemical reaction is a process in which one or more substances form new substances new substances may be more than two or many and say for example chemical uh, reaction happen in our daily life also so before we come to uh, our daily life how you know that a chemical reaction happened when a chemical reaction happen you may see some changes and what is the changes that is in chemical reaction you may see the changes involve change in state change in state means from solid state it may changes to liquid it may changes to gas and then uh, in some chemical reactions you may see some change in color and then in some other chemical reactions you may see change in temperature and in some other chemical reactions you may see evolution of gas so i can uh, cite you i am sorry that i cannot show you the activity that if you see by activity you will know well but i can cite it you some example listen carefully that change in color change in color if you can see from your textbook also in activity 1.2 when lead nitrate solutions mix with potassium iodide solution so lead nitrate solution is also a colorless solution and then you will uh, make solution of lead nitrate with water that is aqueous solution and then potassium nitrate you will mix with water and make a uh, solution that is aqueous solution so that two separate solution which are colorless both are colorless when you mix together surprisingly you will see a bright yellow color in the mixture form that is the yellow color is of potassium that is lead iodide not potassium that is uh, when you mix potassium iodide and lead nitrate solution the lead and iodide they combined and form a new substance called lead iodide and that lead iodide gives you a yellow color substance and that yellow color is what you see so when a chemical reactions happened you may observe some of these changes that is change in color and again now i can cite it you an example of evolution of gas in your activity 1.3 you may see that zinc granules that means pieces of zinc when you drop that pieces of zinc in dilute sulfuric acid or dilute hydrochloric acid after some few minutes you will see evolution of gases and that gases is that means you will see bubbles arising from the reaction mixture and that bubbles is of hydrogen gas so that hydrogen gas you can test it by bringing a burning match stick or a burning splinter near the mouth where the gas is coming out and you will hear the pop sound of the burning match stick so this is how we taste uh, hydrogen gas again i can uh, cite it you one uh, example of change in state change in state very simple uh, when a chemical reaction happens change in state is the egg the unboiled egg when you uh, just break it you will found the jelly like uh, inside that is the albumin but after you boiled it and the reactions happen then after boiling uh, when you break it you will see that solid inside the egg will be uh, solid that means the liquid like jelly like it changes to solid state so in the boiling of egg also you see the very uh, easy and good example of changes of state when reaction happens chemical reaction happens so chemical reactions is uh, uh, what 
in your daily life also in our daily life also you have experiences many chemical reactions let me cite you some examples one of the example is curding of milk your your fresh milk when you keep for 3 days you will see curd that means the milk changes to curd and their physical appearance and the taste it all changes not only the taste and physical appearance change but the chemical composition of the milk also changes so in chemical reactions you will see many changes and then uh, even in our another one more example in that you experience in daily life that is cooking cooking food that is when uh, food is cooked you see changes and again uh, another one more example is very simple example rusting of iron suppose when you throw one iron nails in a moist area and you see after four five days you will you will find some uh, reddish brown coating at the surface of the nail so that is the rusting that is rust so that is also that means uh, the iron in the nail they react with the moisture that is water vapor present in air and oxygen and changes to uh, some other compound and that compound is what we generally known as rust so that phenomenon is rusting of iron these are all examples of chemical reactions but i think all of you clear about what is a chemical reaction up to now then uh, next let me continue about how you will represent a chemical reaction that means uh, this happen uh, you it will be very lengthy to you that uh, all explaining about all the reactions so we want a very shortcut shortcut means just like a symbolic representation of what happens so very simple chemical equation chemical equation is a symbolic representation of the chemical reaction and basically in a chemical equation you will found two terms we will use two terms that is reactants and products now in the chemical equation you will found two parts that is a reactant part and products and what are reactants actually reactants are those substances that undergo chemical change in the reaction and it will be represented that means it will be written on the left hand side and then products products are those substances that are newly formed those newly formed substances are called uh, products and <clears throat> it will be written on the right hand side of a equation so in chemical let me take you one very easy example in your first activity